What's up, my YouTube and Instagram family? This is your boy, Pastor Ronald Walker, with your weekly moment of inspiration. Um, but what I want to come on here today, um, just simply for the next few minutes, is we're living through difficult times. But I wanted to give you some concepts on how to deal, how you can get through some difficult times. I'm going to just give you a few concepts that I believe that's going to help us with what's going on with the covid uh, 19 and also what's going on with uh, the death of Mr. George Floyd and the the, the injustice that we're seeing and, you know, um, the looting and everything that's going on um, in our society. But I wanted to come on here and try to bring a, a, a positive note in the spite of what you're experiencing in your inner cities, what you're experiencing um, throughout the time. But I want to uh, come and, and just bring you some positive things of what you can do in order to um, get through all of this. So what I want to do is um, um, just bring you uh, some things. Um, the first thing is I want you to do is stay positive. Um Life is not the way it's supposed to be. It's the way it is. The way you cope is what makes the difference. The way you cope with something is what makes the difference. So listen, it may not be the way it's supposed to be, but right now there's a saying it is, um, just stay positive, okay? Um, so whatever you do, in spite of what's going on, don't let anger be so, don't let anger build up. Don't let bitterness build up, but try to stay positive, even in a difficult time situation. Try to stay positive because it's our positive attitude and our positive position that's going to help us get through. And one thing that we as believers have is we have prayer. So if we continue to pray and ask God to help us with our attitude, help us to remain positive with even what's going on. And I know you say, Walker, sometimes it's hard to remain positive. I know I've seen the tape of what happened to George Floyd, and it is not great at all. But we still have to believe that there's hope, even when it looks like it's a hopeless situation. So that's number one. Stay positive. Number two, be creative. Be creative. What ideas do, do, can you bring um, to help change what's going on? What ideas can you bring to your community? What ideas can you bring um, to what's happening in your inner city? What's happening about you? There are times when you can't do much to change your situation. You just have to deal with it. But there are other times when you can actively work to make the situation better. Let me say that again. There are times when you can't do much to change your situation. You just have to deal with it at times. But there are other times when you can actively work to make the situation better. And that's what I mean by being creative. All of us, we have to work to make the creation better. We have to work to make things better. OK, so that's that's what we got to do. We got to work to make things better. That's number two. So stay positive. Get creative. Number three, learn from the difficult times. We have to learn everything that's going on, everything that happened with Mr. George Floyd, with our brother George Floyd, everything that happened. We must facing difficulties is invitable, invitable learning from them is optional. Learning from them is optional. Learn, and that was quoted by John Maxwell. Learning from them is optional. So let's learn from these difficult times. What do we need to do to cause injustice not to be a uh, concern? What can we learn from the George Floyd's death? What can we learn from the looting and everything that's going on? We have to learn. I'm going to give you two more and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you go because I know I'm, um, and I'll give you the other five next part two next week. Number four, change it up. Change it up. We, we, we're, we're, we're agents of change. Come on. We're agents of change. So after you identify, after you identify the key takeaways from your difficult times, you just need to make a change. If it's a change, you can implement immediately. There might be something you can implement. Call your city officials, get your local uh, officials together. Say, look, I come up with an idea that I can implement. Immediately do it. You don't want to be in the middle of a difficult situation longer than necessary. All right. So you have the power to change it up. OK, um, if it's something that you can't implement right now, take note if take note of it so you can use it when the situation calls for it. 
Take notes. If you can't change it now, take notes so you can use it at a later time. And number five, know what you're grateful for. In spite of the difficult times, know what you're grateful for. Okay. Gratitude means showing appreciation for all the good in your life instead and focusing on the negative. Get clear about what it is that you're grateful for. All right. That is my five minutes for the weekly talk with you. But listen, you can get through great uh, difficult times. Part two will be next week. We'll talk about um, some more how to get through difficult times. This has been your boy, none other than Pastor Ronald S. Walker Sr. from Kingdom Builder Ministries here in Violin, New Jersey. My YouTube family, I love you. My Instagram family, I love you. My Facebook family, I love you. Listen, hold your head up, all right? We're going to get through this difficult times. We're in this together and we shall get through this together. Amen. Listen, your agent for change. All right. Listen, listen, dreams come true and yours is yet waiting for you. I'll talk to you. Follow me on Facebook, Ronald S. Walker, Ronald S. Walker Sr. Um, follow me on Instagram, Pastor Walk. Follow me on Instagram, man. Um, also, you can follow me on YouTube. Go to my YouTube channel and um, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ronald Walker on YouTube. Give me some feedback on what you like. Give me some feedback if this is encouraging to you. I'll talk to you soon and I'll see you soon. All right. Love you to life. Bye-bye.